So it's been about two to three weeks since I started planting the garden. I started it on the Easter long weekend in April. Now we're in the beginning of May. And how does my garden grow? Beautifully. Well, I bought this lavender. It was just too pretty to pass up. But there is good news in the garden. So I'm gonna jump to each and every bed and the greenhouse and give you a quick glimpse of what's going on. I'm gonna be a bit repetitive throughout this video because most of the stuff that's doing pretty well is um, peas and radishes. I've planted them in a lot of places throughout the garden. This is the garden bed by my deck and as you can see there's more peas. I had some extra leeks so I put them in a pot and I've got some spinach growing. Of course more radishes. These are my uh, Japanese wasabi radishes. They were some free seeds I got from uh, Baker's Creek in Missouri. Given those a shot. I had an extra cabbage plant and a couple extra onions so I put those in a pot too. More peas there. This is a, another type of spinach growing here. And of course some more radishes. And another type of leek I had some leftovers that are in a pot here. See what they do. Sometimes I have a hard time letting go of seedlings if I have extras. Here's some more cabbage seedlings in pots that I didn't have room for in the garden, but let them grow. This is one of my garden beds along uh, one of my fences. And it's, they're hard to see, but there are peas growing. And where are they? Where are, oh, there they are. There's my radishes. So this is another garden bed I have by the, the fence. More peas, obviously. And I did put in some, I have to lift this up, some lettuces. These are, um, there's the other one, Merveille des Quatre Saisons. I also have a, um, that's an iceberg there. And I keep this little protective thing over it because the cat digs in this friggin' bed. Such an asshole. Excuse my language. And then underneath this one, more lettuce. This is the garden bed where I'll be gro growing my tomatoes eventually, but right now, peas. Now this garden bed is, uh, all the onions. You can see my garlic growing nicely at the back there. But this is a mix of onions, beets, parsnips, and carrots, and leeks. A good many of the carrots have started to come up. Uh, there you see a nice little bunch of them. They're still very, very tiny. You can still barely, you can barely even see the leeks there. They're just little guys right now, but they will grow big. That's that's one of my beet seedlings. They're still very, very tiny. There's another guy. Now this particular bed is uh, for my parsnips, but they take forever to friggin' germinate. So in the meantime, there's radishes growing between them. This is a row of Valencia onions in here. They're the only onions that actually, like all my seedlings sprouted with these guys. I'm not having a great year with my onions. I did actually plant seeds in the garden to see what would happen, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be lacking in onions this year. Here's a better look at my garlic. Looks really, really good, really good. I got three grow bags of potatoes here towards the back of the, the, the yard. They ain't doing much, but it's still early. And we are growing a bunch of fruit trees. This is uh, a honey crisp apple tree. This is another one of our fruit trees. It's a pear tree. It was um, 
you know, you those varieties you buy at the stores that are grafted four different varieties. Well, it seems that some of them have died. We'll see what happens with this, the, the remaining branches because it, it did give very nice pear trees when it does have pears. But I don't think I will ever buy a multi-grafted plant again. This is Juan's baby. This is his red delicious apple tree. We did get some apples off it, not last year because the windstorm blew all the, the blossoms off it, but the year before it has some beautiful apples. I took the figs out of the greenhouse to give them some fresh air. They're beautiful. They're coming along so nicely. We also have a peach tree. Doesn't look like much, but he's still very young. He's only three years old. This is our cherry tree. He looks more like a stick than a tree. And behind him, I have some raspberry bushes. They're only like, I only planted them I think it was last year. And uh, yeah, there you see, right there. He's got little sprouts growing all over the place. Good job, good job. And this is our second pear tree. He's pretty amazing. Tons of like blossoms coming out on him. I think he'll be quite, quite uh, a sight to see once he's in full bloom. This is one of four blueberry bushes I have next to a, a rose bush which is next to the other blueberry bush with the other two blueberry bushes here and here this is the last of the uh, garden beds in the backyard and this is a row of rutabagas it's just a couple of the plants i think there's five or six in this row this one I got some cabbages growing these are my turnips what do we got here this is one variety of broccoli. They're doing quite well. You should see the broccoli I have in the greenhouse. Wow. This is another row in here of uh, broccoli. Here is some more cabbage. Most of these are red cabbages. I think down at the very, very, very end is a, a green cabbage, if I'm not mistaken. And here we have, oh, you'll, these are going to be hard to see. They're so small still. So if I can get really focused in for you, just be patient, please. There they are. Celery. This is a Chinese celery, and I also have a French variety. And this is... Uh, Okay. Oh, these are Japanese wasabi radishes mixed in with some bok choy plants. And I don't do much weeding at this time of year, but I do do uh, what is I call deforestation because I have tons of little maple trees growing all through the garden beds that I have to get rid of or I'll have trees everywhere. And this is another row of uh, Japanese wasabi radishes mixed in with some uh, bok choy. And then the last row in here, these are more rutabagas. They're all doing quite well. All doing quite well. So outside the greenhouse, I have uh, another potato. It's a half tower. I didn't do a full tower. I just did a half tower. So that's potatoes. And inside the greenhouse, look at that. Aren't they freaking amazing? It's a little warm for them. They don't like the heat and they need a little bit of water too. 
Now they're mixed in with some uh, green onions. And these are iceberg lettuces. And then over here, uh, this is leaf lettuce with some green onions mixed in. And this particular bed here, these are romaine lettuces, again with some little green onion plants mixed in. My greenhouse tomato, uh, he's getting chopped down. Didn't do as well as I had hoped. His leaves are turning purple and I need the beds for watermelons eventually. So I'm just gonna cut my losses and try better next year. I've also got a lot of herb seedlings ready to go. Well, not ready to go. They still need to grow a bit more, but those are basil. I have one rosemary, one, and one little thyme plant. It's like, I need more, but I keep trying. These are just backup seedlings I keep just in case something happens. Some are doing okay, some are not. And, but at the end of the day, actually, that's a closer look. That's the, well, focus, Kim. That's the French celery I have growing in my garden, actually. I kept two little seedlings aside just in case. There's summer savory and parsley and basil. I'll leave those in there for a bit longer and then I'll put them into larger pots until they're ready for the garden. And then there's nothing to see here. These are just some new seedling starts. I started them like literally a few days ago or whatever. Transplanted a bunch of stuff though. I put tomatoes and my sweet and hot peppers into larger pots, give them a better growing environment. That's some parsley there too. Same thing down here. Those are, uh, yeah, that's honeydew and cantaloupe. And then over here, watermelons and one cantaloupe, I think. Yeah, there he is. That's the one cantaloupe there. I also had some small pots of citrus plants that I put them in bigger pots, gave them a better little environment to grow in. They're actually, I cleaned them up too. They, they look good now, but they weren't that great before. They did look a little bedraggled, but I had to clean them up and make them look pretty again. And the other, my 10 year old citrus plants, the one with all the flower buds is still going strong. I'd actually like to see what this guy is gonna be. The other ones haven't flowered, but I guess if that one did, then there is hope for these guys too, right? So that's a bit of the garden. There's nothing really to see in the front. There's nothing much there. I do have some asparagus, but it's just the second year asparagus, so there's nothing to see. Nothing to see there. But we have just another few more days of cooler weather and then it warms up again. And that's, I think, when things will start to jumpstart and really get going. So for now, that's about it. Oh, that's Chicago Junior enjoying some fresh air too. Anyway. Thanks for hanging out with me while I show you my garden. I'll keep you updated. Ciao for now.